my channel today i'm gonna be coming at y'all with a fall haul this is going to be a collective haul because i've purchased a few things over the last few months and i just wanted to share with y'all what i've bought so some of these things can of course transition into winter but i bought most of these items for the fall time so let's start with my most recent purchase i just purchased this today from Sephora, this the web from Sephora, and I purchased the Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So yeah, this is what the palette is looking like. It is a beautiful packaging, and it's in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the shadows. I am super happy with this purchase, y'all. I used it today on my eyes. And um, the colors that I used were Edges, Ginger, Credit, and Zoellas on the eyelid. So I really love this palette. I think the packaging is so cute. And I was on the fence about getting it, but I went ahead and decided, like, I would be real messed up, real sad if it sells out. Because it is limited edition. I don't know. It's been in stock everywhere. For like the last few months since it's launched but it does say limited edition so i didn't want to get caught off guard or anything where as if the palette sells out and then i can't get it so hmm. your girl wanted to go ahead and pick that up before i was upset about that and the other purchase that i got from sephora was so my other purchase was this laneige lip balm this is like the lip sleeping mask and this is something that was like on my to get list for a long time I just never picked it up but it comes in the box like this and it just comes with a little lip scooper so it just comes with like this little lip spoon scooper and this is the jar of what it looks like it's real cute I mean I got the berry scent because I typically like berry scented things and it smells pretty good and i've dipped in it just a little bit this is another pickup that i did i got the glow recipe watermelon sleeping mask and i went ahead and got it in the little set that it was called i think it was called let it glow or something like that but it came with all three of these items so these three came in the set it's the sleeping mask the full size version the travel size blueberry bounce and the travel size um, moisturizer i wanted to try these other two so i just decided that it made more financial sense for me to go ahead and buy the kit where i could at least try the other two and i'm getting the full size sleeping mask which is the item that i was going to buy anyway another recent beauty purchase that i made was this fresh sugar caramel hydrating lip balm if you watched my get ready with me you saw me talk about this in there but if you didn't this is what it looks like this is what it looks like right here that's the inside like i've only had this maybe a month and i've almost used the whole thing because and that's not and that's not because i just love it so much it's just because it it does not do anything for my lips like honestly I said that in my video my get ready with me but honestly this does nothing more than like a Vaseline and for the price point I don't think I will be repurchasing this so this is just something I picked up but I don't recommend it necessarily because it's too expensive for it not to actually do its job as in hydrating my lips so this next pickup is very random um, I just picked it up recently as well but it's this airpods case right here and it's just like a little coke cup it's really cute i don't even really drink coke like that but i just thought it was cute and it is my airpods in there and i picked this up off of amazon so i will link it below but i thought this was really cute i wanted something that would be really stand out because me and my husband kept getting our airpods confused so I picked this up and he picked up the Pokemon ball. So we got two different ones. We know exactly whose AirPods are who. Perfect. So my camera died, but I had to come back. So y'all, this next item that I'm about to share with y'all was a complete, complete splurge moment. Like I was not supposed to be buying this when I bought it, 
but I had to prove a point. I had to prove a point to my husband that I can actually splurge and purchase things because I know I've said before in my videos that I'm pretty frugal, especially when it comes to buying like designer things. But this is something that I've had my eye on forever. I really wanted this item. And when I was in New Orleans, I made the splurge. So y'all, I purchased my item from from Gucci and I bought came in this dust bag first of all they tried to, they played me because they didn't actually give me the box that it came in like I was watching other people's unboxings and they actually got like a box so yeah they played me but came in this dust bag like this all I have in my bag is the dust bag and the receipt so for what I paid, y'all, I would have liked the box because I spent a pretty penny on this item. So I, I want everything that comes with it. But what I got y'all was the Gucci Marmite belt. And I just got the black, the smooth leather. And I got the gold, like the antique gold buckle. This is the most traditional one. You see most people, you see them with this one. But typically the bigger one. The um, This is the one inch one inch belt and you typically see people with i think it's a 2.5 inch but i'm smaller like i'm a five foot tall petite girl i think that the bigger one would look like too too out there on me so i got the one inch which is a men's belt and y'all i had the hardest time making sure that this was the one that i wanted because they do make a smaller one that's like a 0 0.8 something millimeter belt like I didn't want that one that one was too small and then the 2.5 was too big so I just went ahead and got this one and I'm super happy with it like I love this purchase I wear this belt I bought it and I probably have already worn it like two three times and I haven't even had it a month so I'm gonna get my wares out of this belt because it was not a cheap it was not a cheap splurge but y'all i will link the belt down below if you're interested in getting it from gucci yourself and i also will insert you know shots of me wearing it so check it out i really have i'm really happy with it so the next items that i'm going to share with y'all are all clothing items i have been picking up a few clothing items just like over the last few months trying to ramp up my wardrobe for fall so let's get right into it okay so the first clothing item that i want to share with y'all it's not a clothing item at all. It's actually shoes. And I bought these. I was super excited about these. But these are some booties that I purchased off of Miss Lola. It's a website um, that is, I guess you can say Instagram famous. But I have been shopping on the website for a few years. Back, back, back when they were Lola Shootique. But it's now called Miss Lola. And I picked up these booties. They're really, really cute, super detailed, nice snake skin, pointy toe boot. And it has a silver zipper, like silver hardware on it. And it has like this cute detail with the heel, like it doesn't go straight down. It's kind of like at a slant. But y'all, these boots are beautiful. I love this boot and I'm absolutely happy with my purchase. Which brings me to the next thing that I got. So the next thing was another pair of boots from Miss Lola. These are, let's see if it's going to pick up that true color. Yes, look at this. These are a snake skin, a nude snake skin. It's nude. I haven't found an outfit to wear with these just yet, but trust me, I will be wearing these. One of my other clothing items I picked up when I was in New Orleans, I picked up these cardigans and they have hoods on the back. I'll insert a clip of me actually wearing this because honestly speaking, just showing it, you can't really tell, but it's just a black cardigan. And I picked up the same cardigan in this rust color, just like a pretty rust color like this. this next item that I'm about to share with y'all I actually purchased like in the summertime before I went on my Vegas trip 
but i'm gonna roll it into this haul because i feel like it's more appropriate for the fall time like if you're wearing some knee high boots or something like that these are the perfect um touch to the outfit so i picked up these which are these leather lace-up shorts they're wrinkled now because they've kind of just been tossed all over but leather lace-up shorts and I purchased these from Pretty Little Thing. Like, I haven't worn them yet, but when I do, I'm really excited to see how these turn out and what I do with them. But I'm really happy about these leather shorts. All right, so another outfit or item that I purchased. This came from Forever 21, and I'm really excited to wear this as well. It is a, like, lacy see-through top. But it has like a mock neck on it. Like not necessarily a turtleneck. But I guess turtleneck mock neck. But this is beautiful. Like the details on it is beautiful. The only issue that I have is like this line across the front right here. It makes it look awkward like when you wear a bra under here. And of course, of course I'm going to wear a bra with this. I can't go just in the nude. But um, I haven't found the perfect like outfit to put under here or shirt to put under here that it doesn't look weird but I might I'm gonna figure something out but look at this sleeve detail y'all it's like a puff sleeve and then it gets tight like this is a beautiful shirt I couldn't leave it in the store I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna wear it and of course I love black I always wear black it's my favorite color so for my next item y'all it's another outerwear piece and I purchased this item from Dirt Cheek Y'all know already how I feel about Dirt Cheap. I find the deals on wheels and Dirt Cheap. So y'all, I purchased this next item out of there. And it's an outerwear item. And I'm super excited to see how I'm going to style this. Because right now, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. But I have a good vision for how this could be a cute item. So, so what I purchased y'all is this red and black bear with me here I know it looks like hideous on camera <laughs> but I purchased this red and black plaid blazer and this was I forget I think it was seven dollars it was either seven or six but I purchased this at a dirt cheap and it's a by it's by the wild fable line excited to try to style this up like what i thought in my head when i saw this was like black leather pants some black boots and like maybe even either a black bodysuit or i could do like a white bodysuit something like that with the black leather pants you could even belt this and make it like a tunic dress situation so i'm excited i'm like seven dollars i can give it a try i can see what i can do with this for seven dollars and then for my last clothing item y'all i purchased another cardigan i'm like cardigan crazy and i got this out of dirt cheap as well and it's just like a gray cable knit cardigan like this material kind of gives me like a granddad vibe but I don't have a gray like a thick gray cardigan like this so I just went ahead and picked it up and this one was either six or seven as well I think I think this one was six and the blazer was seven but I really like this I'm gonna style this up really cute with some boots for the fall and winter time so I'm really happy with this purchase as well y'all so that wraps it up for all of the clothing items I have the all right, y'all, so I know I look a little different, but I had to come in and close out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Collect the Fall haul. Um, if I have the items or if I know where you can find them, I will definitely link them down below. If not, I will try to link something similar, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and then make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video.